I want to briefly tell this other story, which a, a number of years ago, uh, I had the honor of being asked by then First Lady Michelle Obama. She, she was taking a trip to uh, Qatar, mm. uh, which is the biggest Air Force base in the Middle East. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, you know, I'm doing a trip there. I'm going to say hi to the troops. I'd like to bring them something. And she said, would you come with me? And I had this memory of I had done a USO. The answer was obviously yes. I had done a USO tour once before where it was just me. Mm -hmm. And it was um, during the second Gulf War. And I went and performed on a bunch of bases, did like an aircraft carrier landing, performed on an aircraft carrier. It was just like a... a, a, a they're the, That's wild. It is a, a wonderful uh, experience. And you see all these men and women that are... Uh, working so hard and doing this job that uh, often may seem very thankless. And they really are such a great audience. So I went and did that, but mm -hmm. I remembered distinctly, distinctly my feeling during that whole tour was, I am not enough. Like, mm. this is fine. They seem really happy, but I wish, Yeah. I wish. There was more. I brought more a la Bob Hope. Mm -hmm. So when... Mrs. Obama asked me this second time, a number of years yeah. later, would you come along? That's when I turn to you, Jim Pitt, and I say, okay, I know that I want to bring comedians, mm -hmm. and thankfully, John Mulaney, John Mulaney, John Mulaney said, I'll, uh, you know, I'll go with you. He was, yeah, that was awesome. And, um, and he's such a, he, an amazing comedian and an amazing guy, and he said, I'll, I want to come. Please let me come, which was amazing. Mm -hmm. And then, um, Lori Kilmartin, terrific uh, comic, and Brian Kiley, terrific mm. comic. And so I think, okay, all together, we're good on comedy. We need music. Mm -hmm. What you brought was uh, just such great showmanship. And yeah, I'll say it, amazing chops and that voice and then uh, sensuality and mm -hmm. fun. And so I knew, oh, I've got the whole- And musically- uh, the band. A kinship with you and, uh, and the band and yes. everything. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, the band came. Were you uh, already planning on bringing the band even if I had said no? Do you guys remember? I Well, uh, first of all, I knew you wouldn't say no. Uh, how, how come? <laughs> how, I just, yeah, I just you're thought, right. yeah. you're a patriot? Yes, I am. I'm a patriot. I you was doing it for that. So what are you going to do? You're going to say no? I, I, I'm not going to meet the first lady really, and perform for the troops? No. I really wanted to do it. Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, I've never wanted to do something so bad. And the plane ride over was fantastic. I'd never flown on one of those fancy planes. But I was just wondering because Jimmy was there, but mm -hmm. the rest of the band was actually the the Air, Air Force, Force band. band. Yeah, right. Air right. Force band. And they had been there, yeah. right? So they, right. they didn't they fly in. They had a in. band and- um, They were great. They had a great, the Air Force band was terrific. So great. But so I do the comedy stuff, Mulaney, Kylie, Kilmartin, we've got a really good show. And then we bring you out and it's like mm -hmm. just, and and that would have been enough. They seemed really happy. It, then, no, it was crickets. But, but yeah. I came out, it was crickets. It was such a bummer. Like, <laughs> yeah. well, this didn't work at all. Exactly. Uh, we bring you out and you were so great. And then um, I loved getting to uh, play guitar yeah, we did Seven With Nation you. Army. We did Seven Nation Army. And, and Proud um, Mary. then I love Proud Mary. Oh, we did Proud Mary together. So good. And uh, that was, and with the recent uh, passing of Tina Turner, yes. I was thinking about that too. There are very few people I'd trust with Proud Mary. Mm -hmm. And yeah. I remember thinking, oh, Grace has got this. That is an undertaking though. And I think it's amazing to me that she... She has inspired me my whole life. I've always, Tina Turner is just right there. It's it's Mavis Staples and Tina Turner mm -hmm. and the Staples Singers, which I, I don't know if we'll get into it, but there's we so will. many more yeah. things about that. But when I saw what she could do with a crowd and what she could do with a rock band and how she could go up against somebody like Mick Jagger mm -hmm. and tell a different story that is perfectly in sync with what that song meant to Credence Clearwater and you right. know, where where and how we all know the song and then for her to take it and just reimagine it in such a way. I didn't, I don't feel like it, I mean, that's a burden on my shoulders to say that I, I could handle it, but I think I can do it my way. I can mm -hmm. do what Tina does to the Cre Credence song. I could do to Tina's version what she did to the original version. And I, I yeah, you make do it your, love it. You make it your own, but boy, did that 
destroy. Yes, it did. And um, there was not an unhappy person in the crowd. You were uh, jumping, no, and and like I say, it's a, it's an emotional experience because um, they're so appreciative uh, that, and you forget this, but it's an it's a question I've had a lot uh, with anything related to the armed forces is they do want to know like do how do people feel about yeah. the work we're doing and you want to tell them we really appreciate yeah. they love being appreciated mm -hmm. yes. they should be told right. that we really do appreciate their it cannot go unspoken incredible uh work and so when you when you show up and acclimate to the 190 degree. That was wild. <laughs> it was crazy and it was so dry. I remember you and I walking around a little bit. Yeah, and, and you then, had to cover up. Oh my God, are you kidding? Yeah, I, you, had to, you had to cover up. I looked up. like Rose Kennedy at the beach. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Who's uh, that wonderful little old woman? It's me, Conan. <laughs> uh, that was something. To give full credit to the band, Full Spectrum, yep. the band's name. Yep. Thank and, you. and then Grace yeah. came on came to Burbank mm -hmm. uh, about a year later, and you guys performed the song with Full Spectrum. They came home, that's yeah, right. And you did Proud Mary. That was yeah. so fun. Yeah, that is a uh, that is an Air Force band, mm -hmm. and yeah. they're absolutely incredible. I remember Jimmy Vivino, who's yeah. the, you know, one of the, I, I, for my money, one of the great uh, guitarists, musicians, uh, you know, scores, has one of the best ears of anyone I've ever encountered in my life. Yeah. Was like, man, these guys are the real thing. Yeah, these guys are good. It's not like, oh, we got the band, the army band, and I mean, it f it felt to me like I could have, I had no expectations. It was like a Southwest Airlines flight. Like you just go in, ready for not enjoying it, and then you're just whoa, and then whoa again, and then whoa again, and every single time we hit a chorus or even just ran the song, the way they would hit. They knew how to make it lift the way it was almost like they were mixing a record. We got to do a tour with them. Yeah, I would. We got to get that band. I, mm -hmm. I would. I would that love that Air Force band, and then you and me go out on the road. Now listen, in fatigues, I'm gonna need eighty percent of the gate. <laughs> uh, no, okay, but I'm bringing my own merch. I'm selling my own merch, and it's got Conan Crotch Ripper bobblehead dolls. All proceeds go to Grace Potter. 